Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to view another video on my YouTube channel, Mr. Nokia Tech. In one of my last videos, it was a Dell Venue 8 Pro video titled Desktop Quality PC Gaming. A couple of viewers asked the question, could the Dell Venue 8 Pro run Street Fighter 4? Well, today I want to show you what Street Fighter 4 looks and plays like on the Dell Venue 8 Pro. As a quick recap, the Venue 8 Pro is a Windows 8 tablet currently running Windows 8.1 update and it runs on the latest quad core Intel Atom processors with a pretty powerful GPU. It's not the same kind of Atom processors that we had several years ago in the netbook era and those um, those processors were, were just pretty weak and the the netbooks they struggle to even browse the web well with the new atom processor you can play a number of different games as you can see killer instinct running back there in the background in my other video and you can use um, the advanced graphics and things like that that the previous generation could not run but enough of that enough of me rambling on here let's go straight to the game And for those that have not been able to see the Venue 8 Pro before, um, it does not come with a full-size USB port. It has only one USB port, and it's a micro USB, just like with the cell phones that we have. It also doubles as the charging port. So if you would like to use your Xbox 360 controllers or any other hardware, you have to buy a USB on-the-go cable. This cable has micro USB at one end, full-size USB at the other end and these are fairly cheap I bought a pack of four on Amazon for about three dollars and once you get your USB on the go cable you simply plug it in to the port in the Dell Venue 8 Pro then you take the USB in of whatever device you have and plug it into the USB on the go cable once you get that plugged in your device activates just like it normally would on a Windows PC whether desktop or laptop and then you are ready. So here on the Venue 8 Pro, I have the touch mouse pointer installed here at the bottom. And I have a link for it in the description of this video that enables you to have an on-screen mouse just as if you had an actual mouse plug to your Venue 8 Pro. So I'll go here, double tap to launch Street Fighter 4. And I didn't, I couldn't get Street Fighter 4 to run in the past because I was missing a DLL file and it turns out that file was a f a file that was needed by the Windows Live gaming service basically the equivalent of Xbox Live for Windows and as you can see now it's signing me in here and so that anyone that's on Xbox Live can see that I'm signed in I was able to get that DLL file by just reinstalling the Windows Live gaming service on my Dell Venue 8 Pro So everything's looking good with Street Fighter 4. The introduction is playing well. No slowdowns. The music is not stuttering. But since the intro is something that we all can find on YouTube, I'll go ahead and skip the intro. Now, so far, everything looks good. Intro plays well. The menus are moving well. It's signing me in the Xbox Live. Everything's moving quickly. And all I did was copy over my entire Street Fighter file or Capcom folder from my desktop computer. And I also copied the save file, which allowed me to keep my player status. And it also allowed me to keep the characters that I unlocked here. I'm only missing one character yet. So, so far, everything looks good. There isn't really any difference than it would be if you played it on a capable desktop or a laptop. But sometimes looks can be deceiving. Now getting back to, before I join into the fight, getting back to the discussion of the processor earlier, the new Atom processor, a quad-core processor, has a very powerful GPU compared to the previous generations of Atom processors. It's definitely more powerful than anything that a smartphone currently has. And you can play games such as Dreamcast games and different PC games. Since it's Windows, you can literally install any Windows application that you can on any Windows computer, whether desktop, laptop, GPU, no GPU, pretty much any Windows program you can install on the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Now, where this gets to affect the user experience is when your program requires a really powerful 
graphics card, a really powerful GPU. For example, on my desktop, I have a NVIDIA GTX 780, which is a pretty good graphics card, and it can run just about any game on the highest settings. The GPU in the Dell Venue 8 Pro is not that powerful compared to a separate standalone desktop GPU. So what does that mean for me and you? Well, it simply means, yes, you can play these different games. Yes, they look great. They sound great. It's exactly how it is on your desktop. But when it comes to anything that has to render the graphics, such as the actual gameplay, you will not be able to run the games at the maximum settings. Sometimes you have to downgrade the graphics, whether it be lower resolutions, lower resolutions um, for characters, backgrounds, things like that, decreased polygon accounts, all those different things, which brings us back to Street Fighter 4. So, so far, so good. Street Fighter 4 is looking great. As I was saying before, all the menus are working. But this, in these scenes, they do not utilize the GPU. So, all of this is like playing videos and things like that. Um, just like if you load a YouTube video. So, what about the gameplay? Let's take a look. So I don't have the game on the lowest quality settings. I kept it full screen, which uses, utilizes the GP, um, GPU even more. I kept the character models at a pretty decent detail level. And I also kept the backgrounds on high. So when you see it, it looks very similar as it does on a regular desktop computer. But what you will notice is that it's moving at a lower frame rate. And it's simply because the graphics settings that I have turned on, they require much more, much more power than the CPU and GPU of the Vigne Pro is able to provide. Let's go for a round. So this is me on the left. I'm Akuma. And as you can see, it looks really good, but it plays really slowly. Since it is a full desktop PC game, I can go into the settings and turn the character models down, turn other special effects down, and all these different things to improve the performance. But I wanted to show you was if you want to play Street Fighter 4 that resembles the Street Fighter 4 that you play on your desktop computer, you will have to sacrifice some of the graphics. And I have played it on the lower settings. And what it does is it totally removes the background. And it also makes the characters look like something from the PlayStation 2 era. And I'll demonstrate that after this match. I'm actually just trying to do my ultra move here. So I can go ahead and take him out. So I would classify these graphical settings as medium, medium to medium low. So now I'll go ahead and exit so I can demonstrate what it looks like to turn Street Fighter 4 down to the lowest possible graphic settings. Now I could also decrease the resolution, that way to play in a smaller box. Um, if you've watched my Venue 8 Pro video with Mirror's Edge, then you may have noticed that Mirror's Edge was not running in full screen mode. Um, and what I did there is I decreased the resolution to 800 by 600 and it plays in a smaller windowed screen, but you get a higher frame rate. So let's take a look at our options here under PC settings. I have it at 1280 by 800, which is the actual screen size of the Venue 8 Pro. And I have model quality, which is the character models on medium or mid and backgrounds on high. They don't have a medium background quality, which is kind of disappointing because when you go to low, it basically removes the background. I'll take the character models down to low as well, and everything else is off or low. You can't turn the particles off because then, well, you actually just need the particles for your special effects and things. So we've changed the settings to pretty much the lowest they can go. We'll go back to arcade mode. I'll pick the same character for comparisons. 
everything still plays smoothly because these sections of the game are not powered by the GPU. Now the first thing you'll notice once the game loads is that the character model detail has been decreased to a level to where it does not really resemble the original desktop game. It kind of looks like um, Street Fighter vs. Taken for iOS to where you're missing all the details in the characters, in the shadows, in the, the um, extra special effects. And then the background is totally gone. So now you just have a wireframe background that pretty much looks like a training section of Street Fighter or a training section in the Matrix. But the trade-off for eliminating all those different things that that um, tax the GPU and CPU is that you get much faster gameplay. Much, much faster. And since the Venue 8 Pro is an actual computer, you can have more than one controller plugged to it. And you may ask yourself, well, how is that possible since it only has one port? Well, this one USB port at the top, you can use a USB hub to create more ports. So here I have a StarTech USB hub, and I can have four Xbox 360 controllers and play Nintendo 64 emulators and things like that with four players or just two players in Street Fighter 4. That hub costs $19.99, and you can find them different brands, cheaper and so forth. So the game is definitely enjoyable with the decreased details, but it doesn't look like the same one that we play on the desktop. So if, if this is perfectly fine with someone, then you can play it in this mode and not have any problems. So I'm going to go ahead and finish him off. And so this has been a video of Street Fighter 4. Um, as I mentioned in my other Dell V8 Pro video titled Desktop Quality PC Gaming, it's not necessarily about the graphical settings if you get desktop quality gaming. Because even people with actual desktop and laptops, they may not be able to run their games at the maximum graphical settings. But that still doesn't change the fact that whatever they're playing, even on low settings, is still desktop quality gaming. So with that said, we have Street Fighter 4. It does indeed run on the Venue 8 Pro. You can change the graphical settings to, to whatever settings works best for you. So you can have that gameplay that you want. And you can also enjoy those graphics. You can still have your multiplayer gaming. You can have your online gaming. All those different things that you can do on your desktop or laptop. So I would agree that you can play Street Fighter 4 on your Venue 8 Pro. I don't necessarily like it with the graphics this low of a quality. But if I want to play it and get that gameplay experience, not necessarily the graphics experience, but the gameplay experience, this is the way to go. So I want to thank you all for watching another video on Mr. Nokia Tech. And thank you for all of your comments in my other videos. Feel free to comment below. I'll leave some information in the description, um, such as how to download the touch mouse pointer, because that's an excellent um, piece of software and it's free. And if you are missing DLL files, just be sure to download the Windows Live or games from Windows Live software to get those programs back or that DLL file. So Jen is putting up a pretty good fight. I will probably miss him since he's far away. Well, he didn't move. And with that said, I'll go ahead and exit. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day. And I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.